Our headlines continue to be dominated by the evil of racism. This evil causes untold hurt and anguish. At other times, our headlines might be dominated by modern day slavery, domestic abuse, sexual abuse, gender disc discrimination, the exploitation and suffering of migrants, and so the list goes on. The writers of the Psalms remind us that God is on the side of those who are abused and oppressed and that he wants to see justice prevail. They often write in the first person perspective from the person suffering harassment, imprisonment and death. And their first call is that God does not distance himself but that he comes alongside and becomes their protector. Psalm 10 Reimagined why do you seem distant, Lord, when I need you the most? Why is it so hard to find you when I'm in trouble? The wicked track down the vulnerable, looking to torment them, believing that they themselves cannot be touched. Let the outcomes that they plan for the vulnerable be their just deserts. They boast about their malicious desires and cruel intents. They idolise oppressors whilst denouncing the Lord. In their arrogance and cruelty, these abusers see no need for the Creator. They imagine their Creator to be dead. All that they plan succeeds and they ridicule those who oppose them. They do not see that you will punish them. They believe themselves to be untouchable and that no trouble will overtake them. Their speech is littered with deceit and intimidation. Nastiness and condemnation trip off their tongues. They, ident they identify the most vulnerable and plan how to groom them, taking their time to lure their victims into their traps. They lurk in the shadows, watching and waiting for the defenceless. They entice and entangle them until they are no longer free. The victims fall under the spell of their abusers until they no longer have the strength to resist. We could believe that they are free to do what they like. God turns a blind eye to what we do. He doesn't notice or care. It's time for action, Lord. Hear the cries of the defenceless. Bring justice to the wicked. Why do they get away with detesting the Creator? They imagine that you will never intervene. But you are not blind. You see the trauma and the hurt they inflict. Take notes and make them pay for it. The vulnerable rely on you for support. The defenceless need your protection. Disarm these malicious and evil people. Hunt them down and render them powerless. You are the God of eternity, the leader of all that there is. Remove the wicked from your land. You hear the pleas of the defenceless, Lord, and know the hopes of the vulnerable. Bring relief to them all. You will bring relief to the defenceless and vulnerable and ensure that they are freed from their abuse.